Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Astro Narc. 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 We're on corruption level 10. I. Uh, we lost a video due to tech issues, which sucks because it was super cool. I will link it at the top of the description if you want to go look at it. It involves the Paladin, a Zephyr, stacking defense, and a Pyromancer. I'll leave it like that. A very series of unfortunate events-esque uh, intro to that run that we will not see today. We will go back and do Corruption 10 because I'm going to not treat that as, like, canon. Uh, but alas, let's see. Hmm. There, there, there's a couple changes. We can really... We're at a point where we really don't have to include anybody into our build. There was kind of like a nice benefit uh, to that as well. The Cleric was changed and buffed. However, I have reason to believe at this exact moment of recording, the Cleric may be bugged and the passive may not work. So I don't want to, I don't want to use him so that we can use him tomorrow, hopefully when it gets certainly fixed. Uh, but he gains shield for healing received now. I can see a world where a Cleric, especially with prized regalia, can turn into a tank easily. I can see that world for sure. Uh, but alas, who do we want to bring today? Let's bring somebody. You know what? It's illusionist time. Uh, let's build around the illusionist. So, there's also an item that gives a unit hidden now. Uh, they, they changed up a couple of the ones currently in the game. That leaves me to believe there's a way we could make the bard a frontline unit with that. I don't know. We like we'd have to get it first. Uh, let's get a frontline unit though. We need a tank. We need somebody to tank. I guess we could get the ranger. We could bring a ranger tank. It's a little weird, but we can do it. Uh, what else? You know, I kind of want to. I kind of do want to bring the bard just to buff up everybody's healing a little bit. Or we let's bring the druid. Let's let's bring in one character that is a little bit, a little bit no nonsense. Uh, increase everybody's defense. I think. Uh, so the illusionist was buffed slightly a little bit ways uh, ways back. So now it is twelve percent chance to teleport when you get hit instead of uh, just ten. Also. He will prioritize teleporting nearby, starting with the same row. So you kind of know what to what to kind of keep in mind. What you you, you kind of know what's going to happen slightly. Uh, okay, here let's do this. So you should well, fine. You should summon the turtle, right? Yeah, I think when all else is even, he summons the turtle. But the illusionist. He's a weird one. He's a weird one, Mr. Grinch. Uh, I don't know quite... I don't know quite what to do with him. Life-giving chamber is, like, bonkers strong on him for whatever reason. You know, it just feels really strong. Uh, immunity to silence when your target is defeated. Gain 10 attack, 10% speed for 5 seconds. Oh! Banded Hood, this is what was changed. Gain hit and your attacks have a 4% chance to find one goal. Alright, so I would like to, after this, next floor, I would like to get the Bard, and I would really like to try and put this on the front line. Uh... I mean, we give him hidden. I mean, it's fine. Boy, what if we give, uh... What if we can give the old passives hidden? That would be that'd be a big old meme. That'd be a big old meme. This man sitting over here doing his business. This is I'm excited by this. I think this is gonna go well. Uh, okay, kunai is very much a ranger item, a, a very much a tank ranger item, because we can buff it up for some good old defense. I think we're pretty much just gonna be rocking the same old stuff for a little bit here. Buff up that defense like crazy, and then the ranger still gets to do pretty good attack, which is awesome. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is working. This is working. Way better. Okay, also, bone spike armor was changed. It now applies bleed, which is exciting. Noble ward was changed. It now gives two negate instead of one. 
and it scales up better as well. So there's just like a lot of really good stuff going on here. Uh, I don't really need bone spike armor, to be honest, on you. Like, I I'll probably take it just to get the defense. No, I'll take the new Noble Ward. Two negate is, is pretty juicy. Like, by the time the other tank dies, he will have the two negate, and then maybe he'll have negate from the druid. Probably not, though. Probably not, though. Ooh. Okay. I'm so excited by this. The bandit hood is such a good new chain. The, it, it opens up so many later game. Oh, wait. Chance to find one. Okay. You know what? This is... This is great. Uh, chance to... What am I talking about? Uh, opens up a lot of later game options for your fifth character. Or wait. <laughs> for fifth, fifth character. You're not so limited. No more. No more. Uh, let's see. We got Fenrir's Bane. Mage Seeker got buffed. Does more damage now, I think. If not here when it gets upgraded. Hmm. I think the Royal Arbalist is a fun idea to... Uh, well, first of all, it'll make it so that this Zephyr Pendant is actually going to help us out do more damage. But also, we can uh, focus fire the backline better because the Ranger just naturally always targets the backline. It said Bandit Hood pop up there. So does that mean we stole money? That's probably what that means. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Heal. Heal, my boy! Come on! Heal, my boy! Ah! Beans. I really th Wow! That really got us, huh? I thought we would have been fine there, for sure. I don't know why we even came to the shop. Do we have another option? I think we go to the shop just because it's so... It's so exciting to see that symbol, but we certainly... So exciting to see the symbol, but certainly we shouldn't have done it. It's fine. We need to have the druid there. Okay. Negate on the turtle. But of course. Oh, I would have loved that divine there. That would have been amazing. Okay. Oh, weird. So, yeah, the fact that he has hidden, he's going to be summoning those, and it, once the turtle dies... Oh, that is so neat. So neat and so weird. Okay. Uh, boy. Boy, howdy. I guess we'll go for the Lich's wraps. Whose passive do we upgrade? I'm going to say probably the Ranger. Okay, I'm going to say 1 million percent, obviously, the ranger. The other passives are like, eh, for us. Special item, lose half your morale. Fine. Okay, that doesn't really, I don't really care about that right now. I don't care about that right now. Maybe later. Uh, that put us in peril, though. I, I would say 9 is peril. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, okay. 20 defense. It does give us more defense. Put negate on you that way. Sure. All right. We in there. So maybe we... You do adjacent poison? No, you don't. Does anybody do adjacent? Nobody does adjacent. I'm going to put you in here so you can attack the, uh, the back line together. Uh, we'll put down the you. Well, actually. Focus on you, focus on you. And then when the turtle dies, we might actually... We should actually have, uh... 
By the time, please turtle, please divine, please divine, please divine, please divine, please divine, please divine. Thank God. Cast another summon. There we go. Uh, do we want the summons to be dying? I guess we don't like want them to be dying. This is just. This just sucks. Yikes. Huh. Huh. <laughs> um. Boy, I mean, we could give the. Sure. This is not gonna be great, but this this would make it so our summons have more HP. Maybe they'll actually live. Hmm. Maybe they will live as soon as the turtle dies there. Okay, he lived a hit. All right, well. So once the ranger dies, theoretically, maybe we'll be able to buff up. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wait. I thought that he would switch to that. All right, still, still good. This is, it's kind of working. It's kind of working. I'm not going to say that, I'm not going to sit here and say that this build is good right now. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. There's also a massive change. A massive change to um, bosses. You can stun, silence, and disarm bosses now. It has half effectiveness, and they get diminishing returns over time. Uh, let's get stupid. Diminishing returns over time as well. So, all right. Uh, bep, 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 bep. All right, summon, please. Summon before turtle dies. Oh no, these guys steal our mana. That's that's a problem. That's a big problem. I can't, man. I can't. I can't with this. Oh, boy. All right. So, build sucks. This is understandable. So, our mana cost is up. That's because of his passive. It's going to go down. We're going to be able to cast immediately. That's nice. Good. That's a tanky boy right there. Who is going to take a, a hit for us. That did not quite go how I wanted. But we're going to have this here so when the uh, ranger inevitably kicks the bucket here, we have another another guy in waiting. We have another guy in waiting. Okay. Yeah. I got to be honest. It's it's kind of it's kind of working. I should have put symbiote on him instead though. We are uh, in extraordinary peril. <laughs> we are in extraordinary peril. So... How do we freaking do this without dying? Is this the shielding one at least, or is this burn? shielding okay so that actually that should be good enough um all right okay
<laughs> God. So much dumb. So much stupid. Okay. Something like that. All right, it, that looks like something. That looks like something. That looks like something. We just need to live this, which is certainly sketchy. Okay, come on. Tack upgraded, that's fun. Okay. 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 Tax deal damage uh, based on your defense. Bone spike armor, I feel like we just gotta do, right? It's like a, it's a duty. It is a duty for us to put that on to protect our team. Okay. Watch out for dagger toss. Okay, come on now. Come on now, that random damage could wreck us. All right. Please! I'm just trying to generate as much morale as I can. Oh, boy. All right. Seven morale. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, boy. Please divine. Thank you. Good. So we got a summon over there. So when Turtle dies, you're going to be attacking him instead. That's good. Now you're going to be attacking the ranger, which is less good. Dead. But now you're going to be attacking him, which is big good. Okay. All right. All right. Going to be applying a hell of a lot of bleed there, too. Oh, Okay. Oh boy. Please. Put that shield on. Okay, good. We got the shield on. This is not good. You need to die. 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 Need to die. Ah! Too late. <laughs> we lose one morale instead of gaining two. That's what happens there. That's oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Right. This was buffed. You get a little bit less MP, I think, but you get a lot more of a shield, which is very interesting. It is not relevant to us at the moment, but I think it should become relevant. No. No. Bandit hood is important to me. Take the speed. I would love a shop. Please give me the random shop. Okay. So, prize scimitar is disenergistic with the battle ballad idea that we've got going on. Prized regalia, I feel like we might be able to uh, to make something work. Okay. Boom. Good. Good. 
Nice and safe there for us. Everybody's attack goes up. I mean, because, yeah, all of their attacks go up, too. And then his attack goes up, which means the next one that gets summoned goes up, too. So prize regalia is buffed. Max HP is set to 900. Your defense is set to 60. Your max HP and defense cannot go up. We'll keep, we'll keep it. We'll, we will keep that, and we will see, one, how it looks when it upgrades. Okay. That's better because yeah, that's that's the way we want to do it. Because if that spot's empty, that's fine. Alright. Doom. Oop. It's bad. It's bad. Ooh, it's bad. Okay, good. Rest in peace, Ranger. Not not quite. Oh, super close there though. The fact that we can stun the bosses, that, that really does change a lot as well. Interesting. <laughs> it's stupid, but it works, right? I'll, I'll look into prize regalia next there, though. Okay, good. Please divine. Ah, oh, that sucks. That that is about the worst that can happen to us with this. Yeah, he got through. He made it through. Bard's doing silly stuff. Bard's being very silly. <laughs> it took him that long to get up to max. It took up that long to be the highest DPS. So, uh, High Elf Claymore got a massive buff in the sense that uh, it does 100% extra attack damage to your target instead of 50%. So, I mean, it's like... It's hard to look at that as not an amazing change. Okay. Thousand and then seventy-five. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. But not for us right now. You need to live. That's what needs to happen. Do 20, 10. One thirty five. One forty eight. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Here we go. So he's going to stun the, the ranger. That's actually really ideal. The ranger unit himself is like, I don't, I don't, he can live or die. I don't care. Oh, that's pain. That stun is pain. Okay. Another illusionist. That's huge. Another illusionist. That's huge. So this was changed as well. You have a 50% chance to get a minor blessing now instead of 25%. At rank two, you have a 50% chance to gain two minor blessings. The way it, the way that it upgrades was changed. I feel like we can buff up the bard's bleed easy. I'll take the money. You know what? Who else would we buff?
goes up to what, 36%? It's kind of fun, but I feel like we should really do that. It's not a ton of damage because he doesn't have very good attack, but it'll slowly ramp up over time. This is a little spooky. So we, we have some pretty good... We have some pretty good buffs from the steel. Yeah, we're gonna lose Stinky Ranger Boy. It's fine. I mean, these mirror images are... They're spooky. Why did you... Oh, he, he stole Hidden? He stole our Hidden, I guess. Okay. Uh... Yay, yay, yay. Sees effort, takes effort to an extent, but... We'll get somebody else who can use it, right? Okay. So that wouldn't work. Yeah, no, it wouldn't work. All right. Oh, oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. We're going to lose the ranger. That sucks. Because, yeah, now they're going to start attacking, of course. Please teleport. Please use your passive. Are you kidding me? Barge damage is just so bad. Even buffing himself up. This is... This is disaster. This is a disaster. Truthfully, I think that long form fights we have a really good shot against though. to do that before that went off there. Okay, when he goes that way, so we already have one of those summoned. We have a second one summoned. Oh no, he teleported over here, what? That's not what I wanted, but we're fine. Oh. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Prized regalia, mystical fruit? Eh? Mixed with... Fiend? Sure. Just to stand there and stall, basically? Sure. Sure. It's weird. It's weird. Whose passive is good? I guess we'll buff up the Fiend's passive just so he lives a little bit longer. We will certainly buff up... You know what? Let's buff up the stinking... Buff up the Bard. Let's get dumb. Speaking of dumb. Wow, look at this. <laughs> it's all survivability, but none of it provides normal stats. Oh, that's weird. Uh-oh. Our healing is not very high, so I feel like we actually can do this. Which is kind of fun for once. Uh, 
Oh, I mean, we need to generate morale, right? We need momentum. Okay, so he's dead, but he's gonna now he's gonna be attacking the other illusionist thing there. That's fine. What is up with this guy? He's always so busted. What's wrong with him? What? What? I don't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> this is the weirdest. This is the weirdest. We're trying to put all these slots out so that... God, this is the weirdest! I love, I love the new hidden hood. And the memes that we can make with it. Okay, so he's down, but now he's going to be attacking this mirror image. Okay. What is happening? This is this is actual chaos here. The ranger needs to be in the back line, huh? Yeah, the ranger should be in the back line. God, this is so dumb. This is so weird. I I adore it. I don't care if we win because this is genuinely probably one of the goofiest builds we've had. Okay. Please. Divine, thank you. It, we really kind of it kind of banks on us getting the divine there, so that's a problem, I guess. Because the turtle goes down. Yeah, that is a problem. That is certainly a problem. Give us another one there, okay? Who's gonna be hit taking the hits now? It's him. Good. That's what we want. Okay. This team is bizarre. This team is bizarre. This is the weirdest stuff. This is <laughs> so weird. Making this out of symbiote? No. Event. I mean, I want something that'll maybe... Like, maybe we can get a random shop. Oh. Beans. Hmm. Because he needs to summon twice. Yeah, I don't know. Turtle needs to live just like a little bit longer. Okay. Dead, of course. This guy is... There's something... What happened with him? What happened with that guy? He's He's broken now. Like, he did not used to be that strong. I'm super confused by that. Oh, 
This will go no way but poorly. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is better, isn't it? This is way better. I hate that it's this fight because we're going to just lose we're gonna lose characters randomly and there's nothing we can do about it yeah oh, that's so annoying <sighs> 36 minutes is such an annoying amount of time for an episode Especially when I'm recording this this morning. Boy. Boy, this is... Yeah, it's, it's... Oh, it's such a jank. Jank amount of time. Because, like... We're getting to the point where... We can nearly finish runs. In, like... In this amount of time. You know? Like, we're... We're over halfway through the final act. So, like, we could theoretically be done in 40 minutes, but I feel like if I upload this, people are going to look at it like, oh, obviously a loss. I mean, it is, but hey, was it obvious? Maybe. Maybe it shouldn't be, though. Maybe you need to have a little bit more faith in me because I could I could be to run in about 40 minutes, I think, right now. I, I really, truly do. Uh, hell, just check the, the link at the top of the description there to see that run. Uh, the runs, plural. It was like an hour and five minute episode. And there was two runs in there and one of them was a win. So, I mean, I don't know, man. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the, uh, we're going to take some time here. I'm going to open up the patch notes uh, as soon as I can find them here. I don't know if this is showing. No, this. I don't think this shows on screen. Uh, all right. Let's look, we'll look at all the changes here. So, Bandit Hood. So, we know Bandit Hood. We, we got it here. This is huge. This item is huge. This is meta-definingly huge. Uh, attack bar, viable now. Easily. Like, before you would probably need to get Ascension Cloak and upgrade it twice... Now you have Bandit Hood. On top of the fact that, like, I didn't even really talk about the fact that you have a chance to gain gold. You know, you put 15, you put the 12% uh, chance to find them on gold with double Zephyr Pendant or something. I mean, that's, that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. What else is there? Primal Thurster. Common. Primal Thurster. It lasts for five seconds instead of four I will say it needed a buff. I still don't know if I'm necessarily going to take it. It is in that the the 10 attack line. It's it truly is the fact that it's temporary. You know, the the buff. Like it's 10 attack and 10 speed though. I you know, it might not be bad. Uh mage seeker is where? Which one is that? says it's common, but I feel like it's not. I feel like it's a rare, isn't it? Mage Seeker, when an enemy uses an active ability. Which one is that? I, yeah, I, I didn't think that that was a common. Am I, am, I, am I wrong? Or is the patch that's wrong? Okay, let's find out. Yeah, that's not a common. That's not a common at all. It's a rare. Uh, so this was buffed. It was originally 30, 60, 90. So now it's 50, 100, 150. I mean, that's it's a substantial increase. Uh, but it was also... Let's see. Yeah, that's never mind. Uh, bound elements got buffed? Question mark? Uh, let's see. Every 
Every three slash two slash one time you attack, apply either frost or burn for 50% attack damage over 10 seconds. So now it applies a frost and a burn. Oh. It's no longer either or. That's huge. Max upgrade being a frost. It's a 30% speed. With a frost and a burn for 75% attack damage. I mean, that's huge. It's really big. Uh, Fool's Crown. We uh, we tested, or we, we dinked around with that, or we looked at it at the very least. There. Uh, yeah, huge. That's that's so much better now. I might, I genuinely might take that. Crystalline Protector. Uh, we talked about that. It's right here. The, uh, the MP got nerfed. No, it didn't. No, it got it just got buffed. Now it, it grants you defense now. It didn't used to grant you defense. Now it does. Okay. Okay. I mean, like, this is super valid on the new Wild Mage, because the Wild Mage now reflects damage while he has the shield up instead of just when it goes away. Super valid. Bone Spike Armor applies bleed now. We talked about that. Noble Ward at the start of combat gain. Two to four to six negate uh, on Noble Ward. Yeah, like, like, that's massive. One, two, three was just, it was just nothing. You know, it was just nothing. High Elf Claymore, instead of 50% attack damage, that's 100%. Royal Morningstar. I never use this. Where is it? Am I crazy? Is it an Ancient? Oh, there it is. 60% chance to, okay. So 20 to 40 to 60% chance to stun your target for two seconds. I mean, that's a long time. I've never tried it out really validly because of the 20% uh, negative speed down. It seems a little bit extreme, uh, but I think it might be worth it. Okay, this, is, this change is really exciting to me. I hope to mess around with it. I guess it's an event item. I still have some event items I have not seen. Ooh. Uh, prize Scimitar and Prize Regalia both got changed, so it's 900 and then 60, up from 800 and fi then 50. Uh, so we've got a we got a 10 10 buff to the defense in all the categories. See, 1,010 and then 90 defense is really good when you factor in that um, you can just gain survivability in other ways, such as shielding. Uh, actives, passives, healing, things like that. All of that, I think that we could really have some fun with that. This, this alone is making me think that Frostmancer tank could be a thing. Pyromancer tank could be a thing. Because they, uh, they have a unique thing with their passive that we don't really utilize. It's when they get hit, they also apply the burn or the frost. Uh, so that's something to think about. Uh, Price Scimitar got buffed very, I think, very necessarily so. The last episode where we, I think it was just yesterday's episode with the Price Scimitar, it just, like, it, it never really increased anybody's stats that we really, like, it barely changed anything. Uh, but now it is, let's see, your attack is 60, 70, 80. It changed it to 70, 80, 90. So, yeah, 10 buff there. And then... Just a point, a point one buff on the speed in all categories as well. But, like, that's big, you know? That is really, really big right there. Uh, you get something like a character who wants to apply a lot of buffs or something. This could be a, a really good way to make those buffs actually, like, do something. You know, like the uh, Bard's Bleed. I see... I can see putting Max Prize Scimitar on Bard, and then the rest of his stuff being just pat like uh, upgrading his abilities. And this alone, the 90 damage bleed up to like what 180 damage bleed every 1.3 for for every 1.3. I mean that that's not bad. That's not bad. That is a super valid thing. Uh, what else got changed? Uh, yeah, obviously the, um, okay, there's the protected buffs have a back backgrounds. Yep, that's good. 
chance to gain the same ability or many times in a run has been reduced. Good. Happy about that. Uh, bosses and elites can now be affected by disarm and silence and stun. The effects are reduced in half. After spending four seconds of total of being under one of these effects, they become immune to all three effects. Having multiple effects at the same time does not make the boss come become immune quicker. Having multiple of these effects at the same time does not make the boss become immune quicker. Okay. So four seconds total of being under one of these effects. So if he's disarmed, silenced, and stunned for 3.9 seconds of disarm, 3.9 seconds of silence, 3.9 seconds of stun, he is not immune. That is big. That's that's really interesting. Uh, most easy, notable thing I, I realize with this that will impact literally every run, probably, is that stun and silence potions work on bosses now and that is a thing that you can get every single run and you probably will get every single run so saving the silence for the final boss now is super valid super valid uh stun as well i would imagine super valid oh i love that and then cleric passability the damage from healing now always hits your current target okay so that's from the passive so when you do damage every time you heal another uh, another unit you will... Is it another unit or is it any unit? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it might be any unit. You will deal the damage and now it'll be to whoever you're attacking. And then also grants a shield equal to 30 to 60 to 90% of your healing received. That's huge. That's super interesting. Uh, I can't wait to play around with that. It just didn't seem like it was working today. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Check out the channel for Roblox and more every single day. Hopefully this did not have any technical issues. Otherwise, I will probably cry. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.